So since I can't compete with all that up there, Marilyn uh, insisted that I stay in the back of the room. <laughs> you know, uh, so I'm Alex uh, from Brattleboro Food Co-op, the general manager. And uh, I just want to welcome all of you to this gathering. It's uh, pretty cool to see people willing to come in and uh, uh, further the cooperative model that we all know so well, you know, the eternal debating society that we've always been. Um, <coughs> and we're still here. And we're actually uh, growing and doing more things in our, uh, in our regions, in our country. You know, just uh, when you uh, talk about uh, what Robin had to say right there, you know, the strong survive. Well, um, we, uh, you know, many years ago, the uh, NCGA didn't exist. And all it was was a bunch of individual co-ops around our region, around the regions of the country that were th thinking about um, how to, you know, put their grains in bags and and uh, how to give discounts to their members. And if uh, our co-op gave a 15% discount and yours only gave a 10% discount, you were evil, we were good. And you know, it's sort of that insular mentality that we really uh, had a lot of um, 30 years ago or, or more. And, and over those, that time period, we really have grown a lot. And um, I have seen a lot of um, conversations and, you know, uh, the meetings that we had, the interminable meetings, you might say, for like the neighboring food co-op association, uh, we've come a long way, and it's it's fantastic to today to have an executive director with Urban, who's uh, already pushing us really far. But you know, we we we've over the years, co-ops uh, volunteer a lot of energy, a lot of sweat equity. There's only so far you can go with that. You've got to you've got to uh, take the leap and really get, get serious. And um, I, we've done that, and we're doing it more and more. And I see in the whole country, maybe the world, I don't know if, if Chuck Gould is uh, right, we're, it's a gathering force that could eventually get to a point of, um, of um, critical mass that we begin to really make an impact on this whole world uh, in terms of how people are treated and how we uh, relate to our society. So thank you for coming and furthering that uh, interminable conversation. I hope it never ends. <laughs> thank you.